this episode starts with Red Dead Redemption 2, my Let's Play. I just want to say I'm sorry for taking huge breaks in this Let's Play. This is probably my least successful Let's Play. It was alright from the very beginning, but I just kept on taking huge breaks from this Let's Play. So I'm going to finish it off now. So, trust me, no more breaks from this Let's Play. It's going to be a daily Let's Play. And, yeah, so... I'm not trying to take any more breaks from this let's play. We're going to finish this game and did we do a good honor or a bad honor run? So I don't know what to do so I'm going to finish the series once and for all so yeah I'll see you guys in, 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 the, in the mission so yeah. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> Well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm... Sorry, I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking... Maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business, you know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. You know, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Let's give you another. You want to work? Yeah. Let's get, get your horse and let's go. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to, uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never told
took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. Off the main track up here. My man's in need of post. Yeah. So we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Amping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Okay. Take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Bear or something came through here. Hmm. The fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south. Whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? Both of them. Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. <laughs> This way. It keeps going through here. There's a cabin up here. like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thurwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out. Come on. Don't shoot. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! Oh, <laughs> 
He's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwell, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. You was about to say... Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. A family man and all. Seeing all this, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. <sighs> yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty owner? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshal Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I love... <laughs> Don't mess around, do you? Let's go. Them bastards was green. If we didn't get them, someone else would have. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work? That's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah? That's something we, well, I, I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You got a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? 
Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. Tell you what, woman, was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling you out by your ear. Ah, oh, you always was a cold-hearted lizard of a woman. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston, Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your mom and Paul we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. <laughs> then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Paul said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> send your Paul my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but... A long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch. This life. It's so nice, John. I hope it'll only get nicer. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, no, John. things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. Oh, I ain't had a drink and, well, I left those things behind me. No, I mean, good, wholesome fun. Like, uh, decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait tip for starters? Portrait? There's a fella in town who takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just... Walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat up. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay, then. Orchard it is. I'll just put us here. 
Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. All right, let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably not. Uh, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, a photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls, Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? Ah, oh, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. I thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. Oh, no. I'm a poser. I learned from the best. How's this? Perfect! Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> What do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> what shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> come in. <laughs> Thank you. 
What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. She's incredible. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. John Marston. <sighs> what are you doing with that arm? I thought you might be cold. John. <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? Shh. Oh my. Is it over? I think so. Come on. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. No, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, Mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. They'll think we're borrowing it. Hope we don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. Here's good. Ain't it pretty? John, you can't tease me like that. You... Will you marry me? Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy. If you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I... I never... I didn't know what mattered to you. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> We will see you there.